7 Ways to Get Rid of Constipation Naturally Constipation might be a fun topic for comedians. In reality, however, this is no laughing matter. For those facing constipation, it's one of the most troublesome issues to solve. It can be annoying and, in some cases, painful. In addition, it is often accompanied by gas and abdominal pain. Constipation is pretty common, affecting all age groups. While simple lifestyle changes can help you get rid of constipation, there are various home remedies and over-the-counter medications. However, constipation can sometimes be a sign of severe underlying conditions. Therefore, it's important you take necessary precautions before the signs of constipation set in. The best way to do that is to change your lifestyle habits. In today's video, we'll look at 7 natural remedies to get rid of constipation. These remedies include everything from dietary changes to exercise and lifestyle changes that will help you poop easily every day. So let's dive right into today's video and look at each of these simple and easy to follow home remedies. Number 1. Drink plenty of water. How often have we discussed the importance of drinking enough water on this channel? Hmm. Water could be essentially a cure for literally every ailment. And it's no different with constipation. Keeping yourself hydrated throughout the day may help to keep constipation at bay. However, if you still feel constipated, drinking warm water an hour before relieving yourself will do the trick. Number 2. Drink hot coffee. If water doesn't help, you can try a cup of hot coffee. This seems to work for some people. Consuming coffee can increase the urge to go to the bathroom. This is because coffee stimulates the muscles in the digestive system to contract, causing a bowel movement. A study found that the effect of coffee is 60% stronger than drinking water. So, if you're really struggling to go to the bathroom and a cup of warm water just doesn't do it for you, drink a cup of hot coffee in the morning and it works almost instantly. Coffee also contains small amounts of soluble fibers that can help prevent constipation by improving the balance of gut bacteria. However, caffeine could increase diarrhea, a major symptom for those suffering from IBS or irritable bowel syndrome. So this method might not be for everyone, depending on your digestive health. But in healthy people, coffee certainly may help to relieve constipation. Number 3. Have a constant poop routine. Relieving your bowels daily plays an important role in keeping constipation at bay. Just like eating, sleeping, and exercising, you need to establish a poop routine as well. For most people, going to the toilet first thing in the morning helps. For others, it might be at the end of their day. It doesn't matter. Choose whatever works best for you. But you need to have a bowel movement at the same time every day. And it needs to be when you don't feel rushed. So. If you have a busy morning and you won't be able to poop, everything will just be blocked up and you may feel constipated later on. Therefore, you need to get up at least one hour earlier every morning before leaving home to make sure that your toilet experience is relaxing and that you flush everything out of your body. It depends on you and your body, whether before or after you consume breakfast. For some, eating breakfast can help to stimulate the gastrolytic reflex which can help waste move through your colon. So, you might want to try going to the bathroom 15 to 40 minutes after breakfast. However, avoid having a heavy breakfast, which could slow your digestion and cause constipation. Number 4. Toilet Posture is Key Did you know that your toilet posture could also cause constipation? Typically, a person sits on a western toilet bowl, just like how he would sit on a chair. This position is basically at a 90 degree piston at where your hips are bent. While sitting on the toilet is comfortable, placing your upper legs at 90 degrees to your abdomen disrupts the passage of your intestines, making bowel movement more difficult. Some of you might find yourselves bending your upper body forward while sitting, thinking it can help your bowel movement. Unfortunately, it blocks it even further. The natural human impulse is to squat while emptying their bowels. Some of you might have seen this and even used those squatting type toilet bowls. They are quite popular in Asian countries such as India. When you're squatting, your knees are brought closer to your abdomen, positioning your organs and muscles in a way that relaxes your rectum in a straight line. This maximizes the efficiency of your bowel movement. Of course, you can't squat on your regular toilet bowl, it's dangerous. 
However, you can place a low stool in front of your toilet seat and place your feet on the stool. This will help you achieve the 35 degree hip angle that does not constrict your rectum and allows you to pass stool more smoothly. This toilet squat posture sounds absurd, but it works and is worth a try. So see if it helps you. Number five, increase fiber in your diet. You need to incorporate this very important dietary change to experience flawless bowel movements every day. Eating more vegetables and fruits is the key here. Dietary fiber increases your stool size, making them softer and easier to pass. The general recommendation for dietary fiber intake is 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men daily. If you don't consume enough fiber in your diet, add more high fiber foods to your meals by including more fruits, vegetables, beans, whole grain breads, and cereals. The trick here is to add it slowly to your diet. If you start eating too much at once, this can actually cause constipation. Too much fiber in your diet can cause bloating, gas, and constipation. Consuming a low amount of fiber is especially uncommon if you follow a vegan or a raw diet. However, if you consume meat, you might be at higher risk of low fiber intake and constipation. Fiber is vital for healthy, solid bowel movements. However, eating more than 70 grams of fiber a day can cause bloating and constipation, so don't overdo it. Number six, pre and probiotic food. One of the reasons you have digestive issues is an imbalance in the bacteria that live naturally in your intestines. You see, we need both pre and probiotics to keep our immune system strong and support our overall digestive health. Probiotics are made up of good bacteria that help keep your body healthy and working well. These are live bacteria cultures that we consume in fermented foods or in supplements. Fermented probiotic foods include yogurt, aged cheese, kefir, sauerkraut, tenf, kimchi, pickles, and kombucha. While probiotic foods have live bacteria, prebiotic foods feed the good bacteria that already live in your gut. Foods rich in proteins include bananas, apples, barley, oats, seaweed, asparagus, garlic, onions, Jerusalem artichokes, and leeks. Number seven, exercise. Finally, it's important to exercise regularly to keep yourself healthy overall. Muscle contraction is directly related to blood flow. When you exercise, especially performing cardio training, you increase the blood flow in your body, hence stronger blood flow pumps through your intestinal muscles. This helps to stimulate the natural contraction of muscles in your intestines and decreases the transit time of food passing through your intestines. It doesn't have to be long or vigorous workout sessions. Even a short 15 to 30 minute morning walk can help keep the digestive tract healthy. Stretching and even practicing yoga may also ease constipation. Certain yoga poses can be helpful because they reduce stress and increase blood flow to the digestive tract, stimulating the intestines to contract. One helpful yoga pose, the deep yoga squat, mimics the squatting position, which is the best for passing stool. Well, there you have it, guys. These are seven simple tips to help you relieve constipation naturally. Try them out, and I guarantee you'll notice stunning changes in your bathroom routine within a week. Well, guys, that's all for today. I hope you found something useful in today's video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell icon to never miss out on educational and informative videos such as these. Thanks for watching.